Today, our Deco technician is going to walk you through how to install a new timing chain kit on a General Motors LS 5.3 liter V8 engine. This engine is fairly simple when compared to many of the overhead cam engines in today's marketplace. That said, there are still some special tools and procedures required to replace the timing chain system. The first tool is an installer bolt used to install the balancer. The second tool is a pulley puller. This is a pretty standard T-type puller. Also needed is a crankshaft sprocket remover used to take out the lower sprocket and oil pump drive. Finally, keep a crankshaft balancer and sprocket installer handy. They are used to reinstall the new sprocket and balancer. Our tech will start by removing the harmonic balancer using the correct puller. Then, he's going to rotate the engine to make removing the oil pan, oil pump, and pickup tube easier. Once those components are removed, he'll flip it back around and take off the front cover. Then, he'll remove the oil pump. Now, using the original crank bolt, rotate the engine to line up the timing marks on both timing sprockets. The camshaft sprocket should be at the 6 o'clock position and the crankshaft mark at 12. That completes all the prep work, much less intense than many other engines. Now you can start the replacement. We are using Deco Kit KTC1355. This is a complete kit with upper and lower sprockets and the timing chain. From here, our tech will work through the various parts that need to come off. Remove the three upper sprocket bolts and set aside. We'll be reusing these for our tutorial, but GM service procedures suggest replacing them. Then, take off the upper sprocket and chain, being sure not to rotate the camshaft or crankshaft. Now you can set up the crank gear removal tool with the T-type puller and pull the crank sprocket off. Check the keyway to be sure it's still in the correct position before beginning reassembly. Push the new lower sprocket on until it is fully seated using the crankshaft balancer and sprocket installer and screw it onto the crankshaft. Turn the nut clockwise until the gear is fully seated on the crank and then remove the tool. The engine rotated slightly during installation of the lower gear, so our tech is realigning the crankshaft back to the 12 o'clock position. Place the chain on the upper sprocket. Install the camshaft gear and chain, hand tighten the three bolts, and then torque each one to 26 foot-pounds. Once complete, double check that the camshaft sprocket mark is at the 6 o'clock position and the crankshaft sprocket mark is at the 12 o'clock position. This job is almost finished. Just reinstall the oil pump, torquing all its bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Then the front cover can go back on. Then reinstall the oil pickup tube and the oil pan. Our tech will flip the engine back over Put the harmonic balancer back on, and that's a wrap.